I was just grabbing my coffee. Hi, Mama. I was just grabbing my coffee. Want to get some breakfast? You should eat up before the vet. We finally got a vet visit. After calling so many places and leaving so many messages and not getting any luck with the mobile vet, um...
Thank you for the 10 upvotes. This is the most calming part of my morning, actually. Uh, head for the hills. This might get my first cup of coffee. I, I say first cup of coffee. I only ever drink one cup of coffee. But I got my coffee. I got, I get to say good morning to Frances. Now Frances and her kittens. Hey, Donda. How is it that the babies are cuter today? They're getting cuter every day, I swear. Don Donda back there. Yo, they're so plump now. Like, Donda? Donda's super plump. Squirmy babies. to see mama and then I want them to see me and Trish and I want to create that bond of it's like ah oh, this is like this is what we see or something it's like these are our creatures hey what's up Olivia good morning I mean sorry uh, uh, Olvia Olvia so we have our vet visit this morning and actually spend good morning we have our vet visit in about uh, an hour and 20 minutes. So at, at 1030, we have our, our visit. Um, I, call, I We were trying for a mobile vet first and it just couldn't get anybody out here. And, um, and then I called uh, for days trying to get like a, a vet that would see them sooner. And... Um, Nobody would see them before, like, I mean, it was like a month that was the soonest I could get. I'm like, that doesn't do anything for me. And so uh, I called 
universe, well, I'm sorry, what is it called? I, I called, um, Art Museum Veterinary Center in Philadelphia, and they said, we're booked, but there's a new place that just opened, and let me give you the number, um, and their name is completely, uh, slipping my mind right now. Is anybody here from our Discord channel that remembers the name of the place that we're going today? Or maybe we shouldn't, should we even, anyway, that... It's it's an it's an it's a newer animal hospital that um, in uh, in Philly. And it's only like 15 minutes away, uh, and they are able to get her in without a wait, and we can just bring baby mama right in. So <clears throat> she'll get checked out, and by today we should at least know if she's like, you know, clean of FIV and uh, feline leukemia, and you know if we can do anything about worms or anything like that. Um, we will be able to put our minds at ease a little bit more and um but that's going to be a stressful point for her we got to get her into this thing again but i'm just sliding that whole thing in it fits we did it yesterday and then mama will go in and then it'll just be like one big caravan of kitty <clears throat> pull my car around we finally got the car back from pet boys and then We want Francis to be a pampered princess. Yes, we do. And if this goes well, guys, <clears throat> pardon me. If this goes well today, I'm going to drop the name of this place. And I just want everybody to go leave them like a five-star review on Google or Yelp or Facebook, whatever they have, um, or all of the above. <clears throat> I just want everybody to like blow up their page and make it like awesome and everybody say thank you it'd be great for their new business too because they're new they're, they're new you know so it'd be good to help them out and be like flood them with good reviews her little pawsies I love her pawsies mommy your babies are looking for you pretty she's such a good soul like she was just scared that's all it was she was just scared for a long time so Trish Trish this morning just dropped a, a photo in our discord and she said that she had she found um, a photo of Francis pregnant in our backyard in March was it March, babe, or May? Wait, March. Yeah, March. In March. Um, and she was pregnant then. And cats are only pregnant for how long? Whatever Trish said, basically, Fran, this is not her first litter. We don't know what happened to the first litter, but... Poor mama. It's okay now, mama. Hungies? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not nursing. Oh, thank you for the 20 upvotes. Mm -hmm. Mama, it's okay. You don't have to bury it. You don't have to bury it. Mommy, you don't have to bury it. You don't have to. All right, good. Mama, don't squish them. You always squish one of them. Mama, stop. Watch out. Wait. 
Wait, watch out. Are you still on one? No, there you go. You're good. There you go. You're good. Don is trying to get away. Thanks for the love. better than it would have been if we tried this a week ago. Ask about a deworming schedule for the babies. They should be able to give you wormer f for you to give them. Yeah, I heard that. That's thank you. I, I want to make sure everybody's good. Hopefully, no wormies. All um, look. If they just tell me today she doesn't have FIV or feline leukemia or anything that would like any like heart or anything like that, you know, any heart problems. If I can just hear that, I'm gonna feel a million times better. If I can just know that she's that she can stay a part of our family and that we don't have to worry about losing her, um, I'll still be great. I'll be so happy about that. We love her. We want to keep her. We want to spoil her and make her a <laughs> spoiled, plump indoor cat. My mama. I just joined has she been ill no she she was a stray uh that we took in right before she had her babies and um we don't know um hey epona did you see what trish said in the chat this morning so she so she found an older photo of of francis from uh march and she was pregnant then and uh, cats don't stay pregnant that long so this was not her first litter and we don't know what happened to her first litter but she did disappear for a little while and then she came back and then she was she wasn't pregnant and then she was pregnant again May 26th so that's like a whole month before the photo before we found of her Yeah, we're gonna neuter her. We'll get everybody, everybody fixed up. Mama. Cats are just constantly pregnant and raising kittens outside. Now she will live a stress-free life. 
Yeah. I can't imagine how she could have had a successful litter outside with the way she was moving around and jumpy and scared or anything and all the all the yeah I am Yeah, she does look young. Everybody says she looks young. I just want to know that she's healthy. And that we can keep her. And that she's... You know? I mean... I'll I'll take like the working with her to like make sure she's good with not running outside and not you know and and her and Oliver are good and Fran uh, 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 Olivia and everything and I'm not worried about those things I'm not worried about like the anything like psychological or anything like that I'm worried about physical so if she's just if she gets clear on that I'll just breathe a huge rely a, a, a huge breath of relief. <clears throat> Hey, Lisa, good morning. Hopefully not chipped, too. Everybody said that chances are that she would be fixed if she was chipped, because they usually do that, but, um... Oh, Mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? You trying to get your way out? Oh my God, she is the sweetest with her babies. You are a good human. I have to go, but I will... But will you give an update on how the vet goes? Yeah, we actually have uh, Mama Dax. We have um, a Discord channel just for updates. Um, it's the it's a pinned post on my thing. It's also the top thing here on on uh, the intro message here on our pan. If you want to go check out, we we'll, we drop photos and videos every day and chat about her progress and all that stuff. Right, makes sense. The kittens are growing so fast, right? I'm sure she'll be okay. Some of those things listed earlier, like FIV and leukemia, cats can live for a long time once it's diagnosed and you can take care of it with meds. Right, but we have another cat. We have Oliver. So if it's if it's FIV, you know what I mean, the chances of her giving it to Oliver, we can't, you know what I mean? It's, um, I mean, I, I, I will not put this cat down. I don't know. I just can't. I, she's just, she, I, she's just gotta be okay. I just, just. y'all yeah you're right opponent I just want to make sure that she's is this America yes this is Philadelphia
You got somebody buried and not on top? No, are they? Hold on. Oh, on the top. Oh, not on top. There you go. Everybody on top? Snoo. There you go. Good morning, Snoo. When are you going to open your eyes? It's okay, Mama. Paradise. Uh, she has struck me before. Struck me. She she struck me yesterday. She she bitch slapped me last night <laughs> when we were trying to get her to the when we were when we were practicing with the cat carrier. She hissed at me and she, she if I didn't have my hat on because she hit the brim of my hat. I was wearing it backwards. They're not the brim, like the the back plastic piece. But she she went to bitch slap me. Um, she doesn't play. And I have a scar on my hand from when she was outside. Like I, she, she bite, she's bitten me. Like we, believe me, this cat when we started out, completely different cat. She is, she was, she was from the streets. <laughs> Francis doesn't play around though. <laughs> oh look, Francis, you got a hundred upvotes. Look at that, Mama. She seems really good around, dude. That's why I said that. It took a lot of work. It took a lot of work. It took us like three months before she would even let us touch her or pet her. And I just picked her up for the first time a couple days ago. Um, but like, yeah, she's still on and off with plenty of things. It's all a process. And we're gonna, like, we're probably taking her to the vet today. We're probably gonna set that trust back a little bit, right? And I, that's okay. Like, we were able to, oh, thanks for the heartwarming. Um, I called so many places, left so many messages, and like was pleading with people. I'm like, please, can we just get her in? I told the story to so many people. And um, and there was one place uh, that was recommended by another place that's brand new. And we're taking her, to, they, I told her the story, right? At first they didn't have something until next week. And then she was like, oh no, wait, I'm not on till Tuesday, but we're open tomorrow. I can get you in at 1030. And I'm like, yes, please, yes. Uh, so, uh, her name is, the, the woman that helped me, her name was Carly, and, um, if, if this goes well today, I want to give the name of the place that we went to, and I want everybody to, like, go to their Google page or their Yelp or whatever, and just blow it up with positive reviews and five-star reviews, and just, like, help them. Uh, because they were sweet and they're going to get her right in at 1030. We don't have to wait. Yesterday, we were about to take her to the animal hospital. Um, there was two animal hospitals that we could get her into immediately, right? But we would have to wait for, they said, two to three hour wait, right? So I just could not put her in a carrier for two to three hours and sit outside. I just couldn't do it. So I, I, I we kept calling her on and I just like begged and pleaded with these places. And they and this one place will take us into this morning at 1030. No wait, we go right in. And they're apparently, the doctors are really good, so. aren't even open yet and we're gonna oh uh, thank you for the 175 upvotes thank you for the uh 300 coins y'all so sweet 
Thank you for all the follows and all those kind words. Uh, if you want to follow along with Francis and her kittens and the progress, I stream every morning uh, and every dinner. I would do breakfast and dinner, so twice a day. And we also have a Discord channel that we uh, community that we started. Uh, Discord community link is in our in my profile on the pinned uh, post. And um, and if you want to just follow this account, we go live every day uh, with them. Oh, also, today is Trisha's birthday, my girlfriend. Uh, and if it, this, none of this would be possible without Trish, too. So uh, if we could just, everybody in the chat, just say happy birthday to Trish. I can hear her listening to the broadcast downstairs. So Donda, you chillin' Donda? Are they fosters? No, um, it, it amazes me how many people, I guess, you know, anyway, I tell the story a lot. I don't wanna like annoy anybody. Um, uh, Francis, mama, uh, was a stray cat that started coming in our backyard through a hole in our fence. Um, we just found a new photo of her from March. Um, so, and she was pregnant then, and then she like went away and for a couple weeks and came back and she was pregnant again. Anyway, we're trying to piece that story together, figure out like what happened to those kittens. But, so this must've been her second litter, but she was, she was a stray and we just fed her and we would stream it here on Reddit and everybody fell in love with her. I would just sit out back on, in our backyard on the steps while she, uh, would eat breakfast and we would have breakfast with Francis and uh, and I have my coffee and everybody just loved her. Uh, and it was like uh, kitty kitty eating food ASMR every morning. And then um, we were all kind of like hoping, we'd be like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if she had her kittens in the backyard if she trusted us enough? But like, we didn't think that was gonna happen. And she would always go hide out in, in abandoned buildings uh, at night and stuff. Uh, there was one right on the corner I think she went to and kids like possums and raccoons and she would fight them and stuff. If you, you guys were ever here for our older streams, you would see her like on a, a, a raccoon come in at, at night when she was having dinner. She'd have to fight those off. Anyway, so last Wednesday she showed up for dinner and she had blood on her ear and I was like, screw this, babe, we're getting her inside. The caution of the wind, we just we just lured her in with some salmon into the kitchen. She freaked out for a while, ran around the living room, hid under stuff, and then she freaked out and went downstairs. We wanted her in this room originally, but we got her into the studio first downstairs, and um, and she was down there for two days, and we were streaming her breakfast. She was hiding out under my studio desk. We were streaming her, her breakfast, and then she started making howling noises, and everybody's like, oh my god, it's time. So we restarted it and then she gave birth here on Reddit. It was a seven hour stream. Um, and she had five babies. Unfortunately, number five was a stillborn. Uh, but she had four healthy babies and y'all helped us through it. We couldn't have done it without you. You guys were here giving us advice and feedback and telling me to chill the hell out when I was freaking. Um, and now we call her front page Francis because everybody loves her.
What are you speaking like, like a TV reporter? <laughs> And we were able to finally get a vet visit this morning, guys. So at 10.30, we got a vet visit. Does she love me? Yes. We love each other. We have an amazing bond now. Whoa, thank you for the uh, 387 upvotes. Thank you for the um, 20 awards. Y'all are so nice. Uh, you are very well spoken. Appreciate that. Oh, Detroit loves these babies. Yo, where's everybody from? We got anybody outside the US watching? Is this all, is this a bunch? Um, I know we have people from like all around the world, but I just wanna see like, how many uh, people Francis has reached, Francis and her babies have reached. We also have a Discord channel now that we started uh, just for her um, and her uh, updates for her and her babies. If you want to, uh, there's a pinned post on my profile um, on my Reddit and it'll take you to her Discord. We have daily updates. We'll let you know what happens with the vet, too. All right, so we got New Jersey, Goddess, Canada, Sydney. Sydney, really? Really? Australia, shout out. Big Chubgus? What's that? Where's that? Canada, Iceland. I was in Iceland before. I love Iceland. France, Seattle, San Francisco, Canada, Australia. Whoop. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I gotta go downstairs for two seconds. Mama, you're okay.
mama? Hi, gorgeous. Hello from India, Belgium, Ghana, wow, Nebraska, cat lovers worldwide, London, Ohio, Mexico, Brazil. It's absolutely insane how many people Francis has reached. Tennessee. I swear that nursing releases some natural sedative because I nodded off for the first time in a couple months. In a couple months with my daughter. When her head fell, that brought me back some memories. Oh, Florida, USA here. That's so cool. Mama wants her human dad back. I'm here, Mama. Hello from Guatemala. Moderator's gone. Time for us to go wild. <laughs> nah, be cool. The opponent's always here. She, oh man, and she's, she's like a sniper. She's, she's, the opponent's like a ninja. You won't even see her. She's going bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Mama. Are you ready for the vet? I know it's going to be a little, it's going to be stressful. But we're going to get through it together. didn't know I could watch kitten live streams until today. My life has been changed. <laughs> ah, New Zealand in the house. New York City, what's going on? Massachusetts, Atlanta, Brooklyn, Australia, Oklahoma City, Poland. Oh my God, the whole world is here. Dallas, Prince Edwards Island. That's so cool. Turkey. New York City, Brazil. We got Scotland in here. That's what's up. Seattle. Yeah, she lets me touch the babies and her and her belly and the whole thing. No, the mobile vets. No mobile vets. I, I, I left so many messages and I got one call back and they said that they were out of our service area. Uh, no, no. I... Two, two calls back. One was out of our service area and one, what, they were mobile vet, but they didn't, currently because of COVID, they weren't coming inside anybody's houses, but if you had a dog, you could bring them out front. <laughs> like, that's as mobile as they were getting. So I called a bunch of vets and none of them would take her in before like a month from now, right? Um, so I uh, was gonna bring her to a, um, to a, 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 an animal hospital yesterday. And they said it was gonna be like a two to three hour wait. And I just lit, I couldn't do it. I couldn't put her in that carrier for three hours. I just, I, I, um, I felt like that was gonna do more damage. So I just kept calling, calling, calling. And then um, uh, Art, Art City, or, um, no, not Art City, um, Art Museum uh, uh, Veterinary Center had recommended a place that just opened in Northern Liberties. And we were able to get, uh, we, I told them the story and she was like, yeah, actually, I could probably get her in tomorrow morning at 10.30. So she doesn't have to wait, and we'll get her right in. Is this baby going Yeah. Okay. California in the house. Singapore, Slovenia, Estonia, Chicago, rural Kansas, Oklahoma. Not to be dramatic, but I love them with all my heart. You and me both. Is she a fo is she yours or a foster? She was a stray cat that just started coming in our our backyard through a hole in the fence, and we just started streaming her. And then Reddit fell in love with her, and she's pregnant. And we got her inside last Wednesday, after months and months of conditioning. And uh, two days later, on Friday, she gave birth uh, here on Reddit Live. I just want to say too, I was telling this story last night, I don't know if anybody caught it, um, but we were uh, we were in the stream the other night 
and Francis uh, was doing what Francis does, is being adorable with her kid. And she, and we had a homeless, a guy came in the chat and he was like, I, I, uh, I'm living in my car, I'm homeless, and this has really helped me with my depression. And like some troll said something stupid or whatever, but then like we kicked them and then that, but that triggered everybody just saying the Swedish, like it was, so everybody, the words of encouragement and everybody being like, it was amazing. And in that moment, I was like, this is more than just, a, this is more than about a cat. Like this cat has brought people from all around the world together. Uh, and in this moment, it's brought some people, some temporary joy, some relief, some calmness, some, some relaxation, some, some, uh, you know, some escape from, from whatever's going on. And I just think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. Going Don Don is so Don is so plump. Hi mama. It's okay. Mama chirps. It's okay, mama. It's okay. It's a good mama. She's purring. Uh, thank you for the 782 upvotes. Thank you for the 60 awards. Mama, everybody loves you. Thank you for all the follows and all the kind words. You're also always constantly, consistently sweet to Francis and her kittens. Um, yeah, just because of her breathing, we're going to see the vet sooner. Because everybody's been saying that she's, bre like, that she's breathing fast. Her, her breath is not labored. It's not labored, but it's faster. And it could be a sign of things like milk. Uh, I learned something called, it's called milk fever or something like that, right? Which is a, uh, a calcium deficiency, I think, something like that. Um, uh, or it could be a sign of heart, a heart condition or um, or just something. So I just, uh, plus, I want to see if she has FIV and uh, uh, feeling leukemia. And just, I want to make sure she's healthy because... Um, we just want her to be part of our family and we don't want to wait any longer to see if she's okay and we just want to get her checked out. Plus, I'm able to get, like, the least amount of stress uh, situation. And we got a, a vet that will take her right in, 1030. Um, we don't have to wait in a carrier and all that stuff. And they're going to take good care of her. So, again, if uh, this goes well today, I'm going to drop the name of the place that was kind enough to get her in on a less than the 24-hour notice and get her checked out without having her wait and all this stuff. We're going to... We're going to... We're gonna blow up their uh, their Google or their um, whatever their business page somehow with positive reviews and just like five star reviews. They're a new they're a new place, so we could probably really help them out a lot. Oh, thank you for the wholesome. Thank you for the uh, wholesome seal of approval. It's great to get her to the vet anyway. But cats breath in that rapid, shallow way when they're purring too. Yeah, I know, but she's usually purring, breathing like that. I should make sure. My cat would have bitten my hand off if I touched her that much. A week ago, she probably would have too. She loves scratches. <laughs> Finland. Greetings from Finland. That's beautiful. Thanks for the heartwarming, Tangerine. Who said you could stop scratching? Mama. Mama. You want some food? Some water? There you go, Mama. There you go, Mama. That's right. Greetings from Alaska. That's crazy. 
Yo, thank you for all the kindness, everybody. 900 upvotes. France, everybody loves you and your kindness. Does she get special food? Uh, we give her two different types. We give her um, uh, wet food. May not want her to eat a lot before getting in the car. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Uh, we give her we give her two just we have organic kibble uh, and wet food so we give her two different things and we mix it up and give her some salmon sometimes because it's our favorite. That's, I lost my Zora to FIP in May. I hope they're healthy. That's like my biggest fear. I just want to make sure she's okay. Been watching you guys for a bit. Super calming. Oh, thanks, man. Show her drinking. Mom. Hey, from England. That's awesome. Shout out England. What's going on? Did she just startle herself. She startles herself sometimes. And the kittens should be opening their eyes any day now. Hey, Necro, thanks for that wholesome award. She had four. Well, she had five kittens, but number five, unfortunately, was stillborn. But she has four healthy kittens. And they love her, and she loves them so much. She is so in love with these kittens. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Yes. Yeah? You're so pretty. You're so pretty, Mama. And you're so pretty. She keeps pulling up the, the blanket because she's trying to bury her food all the time. Are these her first kittens? Mm -hmm. No, I think it's her, her second litter because Trish found a photo of her pregnant from March 26th or something like that, right? And then she just had, she just had her kittens here on Friday. So like, cats don't stay pregnant that long. She, she must have had another litter and then got pregnant again and had another It's Mama, what do you, you don't have to bury your food, it's cool. She's been doing this for the last couple of days. Mama, it's cool. You just don't have to bury it. Mama. What will happen to the kittens? Well, we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep one of them, and then uh, we're going to uh, adopt out the others. And I think we found homes for them mostly on the block with people we know, so we can keep them close together. Um, but uh, we're only gonna adopt them out to people we know. Hopefully, all on the block. I want to keep them all very close. Mama, Mama, you don't have to bury your food. Don't ignore my question. Are you baked? <laughs> <laughs> so what if I am? All right. Um, newspaper will work to place some newspaper by her food bowl. She will pull the newspaper over the food. Wait, she's trying to bury the food. That means she doesn't like that kind? Wait, could that be really what it is? Look at those white shoes. I knew it. <laughs> I'm baked. Cats are the best. <laughs> Momo. She's burying, she's burying her dry food in the wet food. Oh, do, do you not like that? Is that what you're saying though, babe? Like, what are you trying? Hey, Shaquille, what's going on? If she scrapes their bowl like that, it means their litter box is too close to the food. No, it's all the way over there. Oh. 
Uh, what? Well, it's nine. All right, guys. Actually, it's it's nine fifty four. It's nine fifty four now. So I'm gonna get this stream ended. Um, mom, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Hmm? I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream so that I can get her and her kittens in the cat carrier and get them to the vet. We have a vet appointment. All right. Okay, mama. All right, guys, if you don't follow, be sure to follow. Join our Discord for daily updates. Uh, and we're gonna get her to the vet, finally. Wish us well, wish us luck. Hopefully mama doesn't put me in the hospital. Okay. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.